fact, we are about half a mile from where that helicopter came down almost 24 hours ago. The one thing you can see tonight, the flashing blue lights, tell you that this is still a very active investigation over a very wide area. This is the edge of the cordon. Police today have been able to give us no further clue as to what happened last night, and they're telling us not to expect any answers quickly. Many people here in Salt House say this was the first they knew of a helicopter crash just a few hundred metres from their homes. Emergency services were called at around 7 o'clock last night. Within a couple of hours, the US Air Force confirmed it was one of their Pave Hawk helicopters from RAF Lakenheath that had come down on a training exercise, its crew of four all killed. Daylight revealed the second Pave Hawk that had been on the same exercise and landed to help. But the daylight revealed little more about what actually happened. People here are still mystified. We, we did definitely didn't hear a bang, but we, no. we heard something. It, it felt like it almost could have clipped the tiles off the top of the property. Yeah, it, it was, was near. Close. The warden of the nature reserve where this happened lives just a few hundred metres from the crash site. He'd seen an aircraft hovering, but had no clue of anything wrong. What was the weather like? Is it, any clues Absol as to what might have Absolutely gone perfect. Lovely, clear. Starry night, uh, very little wind, light so westerly wind. <sighs> you know, there weren't a storm, there weren't anything like that at all. It's just a, a big mystery. This morning, a digger, apparently sent by the US military, arrived to join the recovery operation. But investigation of this site comes before recovery. The debris, which includes ammunition, is spread over an area the size of a football pitch. Whatever happened, the results were catastrophic. The crash scene is now the subject of a number of parallel investigations. So as well as trying to make the scene safe, people today have been trying to gather evidence at the scene. Those with an interest include the coroner, the police, the air accident investigation branch, as well as the US military and the UK Ministry of Defence. The second US crew who landed here are likely to have vital information about the moments before the crash but police say it's far too early to offer theories about the cause. It would be foolish to speculate. I understand it's human nature. But actually, there are so many different scenarios that could be played out, and uh, assumptions will not make for a good investigation. The cordons could stay in place here until next week. The investigations, police say, will take quite some time. And that means the body of the four US Air Force personnel who lost their lives may not be recovered until tomorrow. And for the colleagues of those personnel at RAF Lake and Heath, it has obviously been a particularly difficult day. What's this news reporter Claire Sadler is there. Here at RAF Lake and Heath, the home base of the crew of that downed helicopter, the mood is understandably a sombre one. There are around 4,500 US military personnel based here as part of the 48th Fighter Wing. This is the largest US Air Force run base in England. Now, details about the investigation are coming to us from the press office based here at RAF Lake and Heath, and they run an official Facebook site. And on there, that's where many people are choosing to leave their condolences and express their sympathies. Details about the deceased haven't come out yet. We won't get those until at least 24 hours after next of kin have been informed. That's fairly standard procedure. So the earliest we can expect to hear about that is later on this evening. And that is a matter that's been handled by US authorities. Claire Sadler, Forces News, RAF Lake and Heath.